Today, we're looking at the Boston Dynamics Spot robot in the lab. I'll be showing you what it looks like boxed up, getting it moving, and the camera views you can get from the tablet. Hi, and welcome to Mike Likes Robots, where we share knowledge to accelerate robotics. I managed to get access to a spot robot in the lab, and today I wanted to show you what it looks like packed up and how to get it out and moving around. There's nothing technical going on here, this is purely a show and tell. Spot comes in a large carry case with its legs folded in. There's a separate battery to keep it safe as it can't be stored with the battery in. And there's a tablet in the lid of the main carry case which can be used to control the robot. The main way of connecting to the robot is to connect to its Wi-Fi network with the details printed on the inside. Don't forget to take a picture. From there, I can carefully lift the robot out, making sure not to get my hands trapped by the motors. Each leg can move the forearm for one degree of freedom, and can move in two directions from the hip joint, giving an extra two degrees of freedom, giving three per leg and twelve in total. Now let's turn it on. We can slide the battery in and clip it shut, then press the on button and make sure that the motor lockout button is out. Once the robot is on and the tablet is connected, we can instruct the robot to stand up and start moving around. Here we can see some of the various movements it can do using the tablet to control it. Let's take a look at how to connect the tablet. There's an Android tablet with a Spot app installed on it. Through that, I can connect to the particular Spot robot and start powering on the robot. As the motors are off, I can press the motor lockout button, which enables control of the motors. Then I just wait for the motors to power up and I can start moving. Here we can see the exact same sequence of movements but from the tablet's point of view, using the camera views that come from the robot. By putting it in walk mode, I can turn the robot around and start it moving forwards. The base spot unit has a camera on the front, back, left and right. In this screen we can see all four views, followed by a collective view. And the top down view. You can see how stable spot is by how it reacts to external forces, like being wobbled from side to side, or being pushed up and down. You can even give the robot a good kick and it will readjust to keep its footing. Spot is great for use in remote environments. You can remote control it and move it around or program it to behave autonomously. It can be used to get around very well. Having four legs means it's very stable, able to move in difficult terrain and able to climb up and down stairs very well. We've also seen how it reacts to forces to keep a stable footing. It has space on top for attaching payloads. Examples are extra sensors like LiDAR or more cameras, or actuators like a robot arm. Those increase Spot's ability to perceive and measure its environment and interact with it. That in turn means you can do things like monitor very remote environments or places that are dangerous to humans like nuclear reactors. When it needs charging, you can plug the battery case into the wall or you can use this docking stand. To use it, you can point the robot in a direction where it can see the April tag attached to the docking stand. Then you enable the docking feature and watch the robot settle down to charge. So there you have our spot robot in action. 
Now I only showed how to connect the tablet to the robot, but there's also a spot SDK which allows you to connect programmatically to it and a number of samples that I want to show you, like how to generate a map of the surroundings and autonomously navigate within it, or how to record video and play it back later. That'll come in a future video, and I hope to see you there.